Could we contain plasma energy with a strong enough electromagnetic, electromagnetic field, like a lightsaber? You just have to pick up a lightsaber at uh, the Target uh, Walmart type store. So, um, so uh, let's follow this to its logical conclusion. Let's say instead of instead of holding it in an invisible magnetic bottle, you actually have a physical a phys something physical that extends when you turn it on. Something very thin, but it's uh, it, it can metal uh, metalized. Uh, yeah, we're, we're well, talking about yeah, we're talking about a yeah. very exotic universe right. with exotic materials we don't have now. So they have a material that is able to hold a powerful magnetic charge and hold the plasma, and perhaps that material is constantly being burned off, but constantly being replenished. Yeah. I mean, you're talking about people walking around with fusion reactors hanging off their belts and a spare one at home, yeah. and their land speeders powered by some really exotic power technology that these people take for granted. So power is not an issue for these folks. Which color lightsaber uses more energy, red or blue? Oh, blue. Blue, definitely. Green or blue? Green or blue, we would imagine. It's because it's putting off green or blue photons, which are higher energy. That's our guess based on the color. Just the longer wavelength, uh, lower energy red photons are not going to take as much energy to generate. Which is why all of the double-ended lightsabers should totally be red. <laughs> I would argue that there was some sort of uh, power source on board of R2 and possibly the, the 